our walk of honor. If you would like to please rise. Our first branch that is going to enter today is the Army! The U.S. Navy! Ladies and gentlemen, students and staff, we are so honored to gather here today to extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to our distinguished veterans at this special Veterans Day Assembly, honoring all of you on this special holiday, Veterans Day. To our veterans here with us today and throughout this great nation, we are deeply grateful for your service and sacrifice, and we take this opportunity to express our profound appreciation for the freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States every day because of you. Your presence today reminds us of the importance of recognizing and honoring the men and women who have selflessly served our nation. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of your courage and commitment. We are thankful to have you here with us today sharing your stories and experiences with our students. The mark that you have made on our history and in our hearts will never be forgotten. I am First Sergeant Robert Weinhardt. Bella is my daughter. I've been in the United States Marine Corps for 18 and a half years now. I currently serve as the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Marine Detachment in Providence, Rhode Island. And I also have a staff of 20 Marines full-time where we handle all of the military funerals uh, for the state of Rhode Island and Massachusetts. We do about 400 funerals a year. Work with the community. I'm the post commander at the EFW here in East Kimberley. So we have post members here, future post members here. As I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Guam, I've been to Gibraltar, I've been to Malta, I've been to Dubai, more times than I want to, been to Bahrain, been to Singapore, been to Puerto Vallarta, New Mexico, which that was nice. What made you want to join? Well, I was drafted, although I had considered at one time going to West Point. I have nothing against the Army, obviously. I stayed in for a long time. They have talked about veterans coming home and having, like, therapy dogs. Is that what you're uh, kind of talking uh, about? Okay. Yeah. So when we're deployed, we don't have therapy dogs. We just have the canine. What are the conditions like, then, if not dangerous? Crowded. It's crowded. <clears throat> Very crowded. No, it wasn't hot. He had air conditioning. My father was in World War II, my brother, in Vietnam. So I figured I wanted to follow in their footsteps and say, hey, so we're all in the same branch of service. Favorite memory? Mm. <laughs> you mentioned Italy already. So Italy was nice. Like, <laughs> but I like the, Carib the Caribbean because just because I've been to Panama, Puerto Rico, just seeing that neon blue water, you know, and, and that's all you see. It was just an experience that you, I'll probably never ever get a chance yeah. to see again. Yeah, I think that's a lot of reasons why people join. It's an experience that they're never going to have, you know, and the education part too. I think that's so important. Some of them were talking about that. Or they have something, you know, ethnically different, and, and that was always interesting. Um, but they also had our normal kind of Americanized food, you know, chicken wings, uh, very, the, the worst hamburgers you've ever tasted, like genuinely. Um, I can't describe how bad they are, but they are, they are so bad. I just love every military person in this hall. 
Mm. You know, and we were out at sea all the time, you know, and uh, we had one guy that would always get, he finally got off the ships because the ship would rock and roll and everything <laughs> yeah. like this. All right. So we're going to stand nice and straight, push your chest out, stand nice and proud. You're going to put this arm, your right arm, at a 90 degree angle. For those with glasses, you want to go right to the tip of your glasses. And those without glasses, you want to go right to the tip of your eye. So we're going to go just like this. Straight and strong. No limp hands. Awesome. Yeah. Just like that. Good job, guys. You can't have any stubble on your face. They would come along with a piece of paper and rub it on your face if it made like a... a noise, you will back chin. I haven't sat in my car the rest of the day, so we were sitting out there all along the night all day. When I came back out, when I got in the car, we were going to drive home, and he said, hey, Clem. Yeah, good. I said, let's join the Navy. <laughs> Absolutely out of nowhere, you know, we went down the next day, we joined the Navy. I signed his father's name, he signed my father's name, and I went to, they put us on a plane to the North Shore of Chicago. And I got to Chicago and I called my mother and said, hey, I'm in the Navy. Sure. So we would mop the floor, you had to make your bed, make sure your your locker was, was tidy. Um, we'd rake, we'd do a lot of yard work, um, in the bathrooms. So what made you decide to go to a military college? Wait, can you back that? What is a military college? So like Norwich University is a military college, the Citadel, VMI. Those are not military academies, which is like West Point, um, Annapolis, Annapolis, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Air Force and Academy. so, yeah, the Air Force Academy. So those college strictly, uh, like Norwich, focus on people going into the military. I uh, surprisingly actually had a scholarship to Cornell that I turned down to join the Navy instead. I still regret that sometimes. <laughs> but uh, as far as the military, really. You know, took my life in a much better direction. So mm -hmm. I made more money than my family had ever made before. I have a bigger house than anyone in my family has ever had. Um, I'm more educated than anyone in my family has ever been. So the Navy definitely gave me opportunities to improve myself tenfold. Uh, you would have all your condiments. So you'd get salt, pepper, a uh, small little napkin, and sometimes a... Uh, like a wet wipe type thing. I think, I want to say one of the coolest thing I did before I left the military was I ran a, a battalion run. It's incredible. It's like 20,000 soldiers just running at the same time going in cadence. It makes the ground shake. It makes you so proud to be where you're at.